in the conversation that follows, I had said TA2714 a couple of times, and I meant TCA2714, and there'll be an image that you'll be able to see. A TCA is a concealed bearing version, so from the outside, it looks just like a plain bearing hinge. I might argue that in some instances, it looks like a cleaner plain bearing hinge in terms of the tightness of the joints of the knuckles. Um, but otherwise, it would be difficult to tell without disassembly that you were dealing with something that was a concealed bearing uh, versus a plain bearing. Plain bearing not approved for use on fire doors. A ball bearing type or a bearing type hinge uh, that reduces that friction coefficient and is absolutely approved, such as the TCA 2714. And let's move on. Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Let's see, because they were going to have a daycare, they decided uh, not too far into the process not to have a daycare, but the uh, architectural prints and the door schedule and the hardware schedule, they, they, they're 20 minute doors in a corridor that would have been classrooms, and they scheduled a Stanley F-179 hinge for all the doors, which is not a not a ball bearing hinge, because that would be the FBB-179. But uh, since they're not using, in an educational occupancy, at least here, they don't have to have uh, closures on the doors in a classroom. But since they're not being used as a classroom, they're going to have to put closures on the doors. Well, it's a lot of information. Sorry to unload that on you. But my question, my question is, is the Stanley F-179, is it rate, is it fire rated? Um, well, being a plane bearing hinge, the answer is no, as you said earlier. Well, that's, well, that's what I, that's what I thought would have to be, because NFP 80 states, you know, pretty clearly that hinges have to be ball bearing type. Um, so well, I'm well. Just, that, that means you could, use, this. you could use the TA, the TB. You know, the concealed bearing. You know, different ways to get there. Um, doesn't have right. to be the steel. You know, you know what I mean. It has to be a, a lower friction co uh, coefficient. Can't be plain bearing. Right. Um, but we ran this one time before. I got hinges for a uh, project, and um, I sent you a picture of them, and you were telling me that they, the particular hinges I sent you a picture of were not were not ball-bearing type, but I thought at that time you told me that those the hinges I sent you a picture of is a possibility that might have been fire-rated. So I'm just going to ask the question, to your knowledge, are there any hinges on the market? that are fire rated that are not ball bearing type yes um but they're still bearing type like the ta 20 uh, the ta 2714 from mckinney the cb 1901 uh -huh. from stanley their concealed bearing is really what they are they may or may not have ball okay. bearings but they'll have something in them that makes them that and the reason you have to have a bearing type a lower friction coefficient so that that self closure can simply get the door closed. That's the only reason. Right, <clears throat> I got you. So the the um, McKinney, um, is it possible to send me a picture of that? Absolutely, it's going to look just like a, it's going to look just like a plane bearing hinge. But absolutely, so when I walk back to my desk, I'll send that to you. I appreciate because that that would help me. I'm just. Uh, in this particular instance with this educational occupancy that was supposed to be a daycare, they're going to have to put closures on these doors and install a ball bearing type or equivalent hinge. Yeah, they'll since have to they decided, Right, since they decided not to use this for educational purposes. And I've got, I've got to explain that and justify it. You know, so that's what I'm trying to make sure I've got my... I's dotted and T's crossed. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if you could do that, I would I would certainly appreciate it. Consider it done, Mark. Give me about 15 minutes. 
Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Architectural Builder Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.